So Loki, a follower of mine on Twitter, as well as the Phantom Menace, I believe, sent me this tweet from Ron Mars, who is a writer of comics. He wrote Green Lantern and Silver Surfer, I believe, and uh, he is a male feminist. That should tell you pretty much all that you need to know about him. And, and he said in this tweet, hoping Captain Marvel appears in the Ryan Johnson Star Wars trilogy so I can watch some man baby heads really explode. And, uh, you know... I, I don't know exactly what he's trying to say here. If he's actually saying Captain Marvel, like literally Captain Marvel in Star Wars, then he's an idiot because obviously that's not going to happen. But uh, if he's talking about Brie Larson, then th that makes more sense because Brie Larson herself has shown that she has interest in being in Star Wars. Yeah. Oh man, Brie Larson, Ryan Johnson, what a pair. What a pair that would be. Oh, but you know... Can't say that because I'm a man baby if I if I give any critical thoughts about Brie Larson. That just automatically makes me a man baby. And a sexist and a racist and a homophobic or whatever. <laughs> whatever. You know how they like to just continue to throw out those, those buzzwords and man baby has become another one of those buzzwords. But, uh... He goes on to say after this tweet, Shout out to the dudes, always dudes, showing up at my mentions to lecture me about why they don't like Captain Marvel and or Ryan Johnson. That tweet was for you. Funny thing is that I went to this actual tweet of his, and uh, there really weren't that many people who were giving any sort of, that, who were like whining or anything. Most of them just gave some pretty substantial arguments and stuff. Uh, most of them actually agreed with him because they all kind of are in the same echo chamber pretty much, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, th there were a couple people who, who gave some some things, like the, like this guy, Avery. The reason we don't like her is because she had no development. They introduced her way too late. Thor? Developed. Scarlet Witch? Developed. But not Captain Marvel. She just showed up and we were told she was powerful. Everyone else was, sh was shown to be powerful and got even stronger. Well done, Avery. You nailed it. You nailed it right here. This is exactly what we all are thinking. Sure. Yeah, okay. Sure, there are probably some actual sexist idiots out there who don't like her because she's a woman. But those people are very, very, very few, shockingly. And the most of us have a problem with her because of this right here. Avery nailed it. But, uh, but apparently, apparently Avery is a man baby for having that opinion. And, um, and yeah, so after, after this tweet here, after this tweet here, Loki, our good dude Loki said, that's right, folks. The guy who invented the women in fridges trope wants you to know how awesome women are. Hashtag self-awareness. If you don't know what the women in fridges trope is, basically it's the it's a thing where uh, people use the deaths or something terrible that happens to women as a plot device to further develop the hero's story in, in a comic or something like that. That's basically what the women in fridges trope is. But, uh, and, uh, the funny thing is, is that this guy, <laughs> this guy, Ron Mars, was the, was one of the dudes who invented this trope. He was the one who basically made this trope a thing. And after Loki said that, Ron Mars blocked him. Man, these people are way too predictable. These people are just, ah. Uh, so predictable it's hilarious so basically if you have a substantial argument if you actually have an argument based on facts then they will block you because they don't have anything to base their argument off of they just come up with their silly arguments without any real facts or anything like that they don't have any solid foundation for their arguments and the only thing that they can resort to because of that is blocking you so this just goes to show that these people really don't care about character development they don't care about the characters this dude if he actually wants captain marvel to show up in star wars that'd be just really silly that'd be just really really dumb because these universes are completely different but he wants captain marvel in this universe just to see man baby heads really explode so basically if you have a critical thought at all about brie larson about captain marvel you're in a man baby even if you're like Avery, who basically gave a really sensible thought about why he doesn't like Captain Marvel or Brie Larson. <laughs> he actually said that he liked Brie Larson's acting. He just didn't like how they handled Captain Marvel. But that makes him a man baby. And his head is really going to explode. These people don't care about good story development. They don't care about characters. And this just goes to prove it even more. This right here proves it even more. 
He would he would want Captain Marvel to be in Ryan Johnson's Star Wars trilogy just for the simple sake of people getting upset about that. That's literally it. And the thing is, the thing is, it goes even further. Richard P. Clark says, What boggles the mind is how easily, easily, these marks take the bait. Hook, line, and sinker. And Ron Mars replies, It's not even bait. I have no interest in hearing from them. And this just, he is he is seriously just like the perfect, the perfect representative <laughs> of these types of crazy people that we deal with every day. Because they have no interest in hearing other people's opinions especially when they don't agree with theirs. They want to live in an echo echo chamber where everyone has the same opinions, same thoughts. They don't want other opinions. They don't want people that have things that they don't that have things to say that they don't agree with. They have no interest in hearing from them. And we're seeing this more and more from these crazy SJW types, these male feminists, these types of far left thinking people. They don't want you to have opinions that disagree with theirs. They just don't. They have no interest in hearing from you. And we're seeing this more and more with the crazy stuff that's happening on Facebook and Twitter. Bounding into comics, a really awesome, sensible website that a lot of us follow here. We're just banned on Facebook. Their 250,000 plus uh, fan base was was banned. Their their fan group or whatever was was completely wiped off of Facebook. It's ridiculous. And these types of people want to silence us because they don't like our opinions. That's pretty much what it boils down to. They don't care about good stories. They don't care about good characters and they don't want to hear your opinions. Anyway, just wanted to make this video. Shout out to Loki. Thank you so much for making me aware of this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then consider subscribing to the channel and I will talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.